How's it going, Apex fam? Welcome in to another Team Trials track guide. Uh, it's the start of Spring Trials, DCL the game. Uh, everything's been reset, I think, well, to a point. Obviously, we carry over some points from last season. Um, Alpha Prop sitting pretty in fourth. I've noticed that um, other than drone sports, I don't think anyone else has really set any, any major time so far on this. I think the track's only been up for a day. Um, it's Oil Bando, it is Factory Tour. Don't let the name fool you. It is sponsored, of course, by uh, Holy Bro and Orline. But it is the Factory Tour track, uh, classic track. We've we've um, we've been flying this one for a long, long time now. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure some of you guys will be super duper used to it. Um, but maybe, just maybe, I can uh, offer some little tips and hints. Although, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Some of you guys have had a long time to get used to this track. There's some tough parts in it, actually. There's some really, really tough parts. Not least of all the very first bit and the very last bit. But uh, we'll get into that. Oh, look, we got Nitro. Squid. Dude, we got some... Uh, got some regulars in here. Right, so the first thing you got to do, make sure you're lined up. Because you will brush that right-hand side an awful lot if you're not making a little kind of jink move to the left hand side that little kind of <laughs> so just make sure you're lined up as you come through here and you're your way through <clears throat> kind of pre-turn it so the the track line here takes you through if you yaw it you can cut it real tight to sneak it back round so it's um it's something that's going to take a little bit of practice it's an interesting maneuver um, something that I've kind of started to pick up from the likes of Andreas is that kind of backwards move through. Um, it's actually really satisfying when you can do it. But um, I, I, I don't know, I struggle sometimes. I kind of overthink it um, as I'm flying. So I don't think I've done it yet. I haven't really mastered it. There's a couple of sections on this track where I've kind of tried to sort of proper reverse enter my way through these gates. Um, but... It's it's a, an interesting feeling coming through there backwards, but it lines you up real nice um, for the for the next bit, and you can keep it really low and tight over the top here. You don't have to come out totally backwards. If you start yawing to the left on your way through, um, you'll kind of be able to keep it pretty tight. Um, you know, you don't you don't have to come out of it backwards. The yaw is really what makes this fast. Uh, you know, like so. <laughs> um, now, doing that consistently uh, in a race, ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's it's easy to kind of yeah. I, I think if you're constantly hitting the space bar like I am, <laughs> um, you will you will get a feel for like the the muscle memory of this, and and this particular section will become pretty second nature. This bit. So as you come through here, um, it's it's easy to kind of get all skew if through here. Like you'll come through and you'll kind of be on one side and you're kind of like Whoa! flapping around. Again, practice, practice, practice. Once you get the muscle memory in for this first section, you'll get to a point where it's kind of easier to line it up as you come through. You can kind of pre-turn it, figure out like exactly how much stick you need to, to level yourself out. Um, and keep yourself straight through that little tunnel. Um, so you come through over the top, round we go, pre-turn-ish. Um, then this bit here is where I am trying to come out of it properly, Andreas backwards. Um, so, <laughs> I've got a bit lost then. So you come through here, that's where you really want to be trying to get that backwards exit. Um, purely because it's, it, you're, you're going to line yourself up real nice um to to drop in here you want to be relatively flat as you do so so i mean the natural thing to do here is to just loop your way over and that's great but what that'll do is it'll force you to either make a correction in the air whoops <laughs> you'll yeah you'll you'll either be looking at trying to correct it in the air so that you're facing the right direction so as you kind of come up here you'll be looking at it and 
<clears throat> it's really difficult to do this like properly unsighted. So you can see we're facing the wrong way. So you you need to be correcting so that you're facing this way to go through the rest of the the rest of the, the section. And of course, the alternative is you float over the top and then you kind of come in facing this way, which is completely wrong and <laughs> it's just a mess. So the the easiest, bestest thing that you can do in this bit of the track is as you come through here, exit like so, close over the top and just kind of, again, asylum, get your beer out. It's a rainbow flick, right? So you're coming through. It's a kind of that uh, sort of sideways, yoy kind of... Um, tell you what, best way to demonstrate practical <laughs> okay we didn't exactly nail it but you can see what I mean it, it, if you're coming over the top and you're kind of like so it's easier to duck in here and keep it full stick um, yeah we'll we'll see in the replay um, probably a little better example of it than, than that coming through here um, easy to get caught up in these little um, girders that are kind of on the right hand side there just get used to being straight through there just really straightening it out um, dropping through and just getting on the throttle pre-turning before you hit there pre-turning before you drop down through there so really it's all about being ahead of the game through this section um, if you're facing backwards as you come through here you're already lined up for this again if you're facing backwards you're already lined up to drop through come out here don't be afraid to come off the throttle obviously the fastest way is going to be to just hoof it directly downwards um, but you do run the risk of just smashing into the floor. Um, so I like to just pop off the throttle a little bit there just so that I'm not hurtling towards the ground at 100 mile an hour. Um, and then cut close to the top of that, that doorway uh, on the way out if you can. Um, so, like so. That will give you a bit more time as you come through here. Again, pre-turning. As you're coming through here, you'll spot this open up. Actually... You know what? You probably don't really need to pre-turn that section. Um, because if you're coming through, as it opens up, you can kind of sneak through at a really minute angle. And you've got all this space to work with. The pre-turn comes at the end of this section here as you're coming through this to make that U-bend or that U-turn um, as tight as you can. And, you know, it'll get unsighted. You know, there'll be points where you're kind of not really able to your brain can't process stuff quite quick enough but it's muscle memory so much of this game is is muscle memory and you know learning to flatten out turns and things and a, a, a great way to build up speed around here is you can just loop this entire section um you know practice going through here like super duper fast full stick full send um it's it's It'll save you a lot of time if you can be on the stick for this section the entire way and just kind of keep it on a level. Um, that's a bad example. We'll probably go the other side of that lamppost. <laughs> um, but yeah, just really, really tight lines. And, you know, this is a great place for just drilling in some full stick action. Like so. Um, coming through here, you'll be able to tell how fast your lap is by where the train is. So I find that there's a there's a kind of big cylindrical section on the train and then there's a kind of boxy carriage that's behind it. If I'm coming through here and I see the cylinder is just starting to come through, by the time I get here, the boxy section behind it is starting to come through, I know I'm on a pretty good lap um, and that my time is going to be relatively good through there. Um, so you can see actually here, let's have a look. So cylinder, boxy section. Um, that's, I don't know, it's a weird thing, I just, it's something that I've, I've picked up as I've flown and it's a, a, a nice gauge for me of um, how I'm doing up until that point. Um, these, kind of a slalom really, um, but not a slalom slalom like, you, like you'd normally expect. You don't, want, you don't necessarily need to be punching the throttle and kind of rolling your way through. I find it's, it's a nicer way to just kind of smooth your turns through here and keep it really tight and close. Coming through here, 
another sort of rainbow flip maneuver. God, Asylum, you are going to be super duper drunk this week. <laughs> uh, you're coming through here. Keep it sideways. It's easy to to get quite um, rubber bandy through here. So you kind of you drop down and you're kind of like changing direction a lot, and it kind of feels like you're kind of you're not stopping immediately. You're kind of bouncing around a little bit. It shaves a little momentum off. Really, it's a case of just practicing until you can hit flow state with this sort of thing. Um, so you're coming over the top. You wanna you wanna kind of make that arc as flowy as you can. Again, if you're going through here fast enough, if you've got a quick enough time, the train will have already gone. Um, so you won't have to worry about that, certainly for the first lap. Um, the second lap, maybe. Um, so yeah, as you're coming over here... Uh, super hard to do these things slowly. Keep the power on, up through here, over the top, and spiral your way through those gates. Um, it's an interesting kind of maneuver. But, you know, if you're following that racing line, it's um, it's kind of a, a nice, fun little section. Rolling to the left the whole way, rolling to the left through here, rolling out here. And then this sideways off the throttle. Don't forget that yaw. So that last bit is one of the most feared sections for me of this entire track. So um, it, it's... Right at the end, you're kind of worried, especially on the last lap, um, about hitting that yellow um, cross beam thing here. Whatever this is, this sort of crane thing. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a little little crane. It's so easy to hit that um, because you're coming in at such an acute angle. It's, it's there. The top, you don't want to go through because there's that lamp. So you need to get underneath it. Um, I, You know what I did when I started? Um, flying this actually the first time when I was on console and I flew this track I would come through I power it over and I would back my way in um, just to take some speed off and sacrifice a bit of time but guarantee myself a nice run out for the second lap that is still a legitimate way to do it it is not as fast by any means um, but if you're struggling it's something that might help you actually um, set a time and finish the lap. That roll through. Um, it's not as fast as the sideways maneuver. And if you guys have been watching the previous track guides, you'll have seen that um, I'm kind of trying to learn these sideways dive maneuvers um, on other tracks that we've had recently. So it's um, it's a good one to to learn. That's for sure. If if you can. Um, purely because it's something that seems to be cropping up in a lot of uh, recent tracks. I'm sure DCL will have uh, put some incredibly exciting uh, lines together through some of the tracks that we'll be getting this season. Um, so yeah, I, I imagine we've already seen it in some of the China races. Um, it's a feature of tracks that's going to crop up time and time again. So if you can learn the sideways dive uh, and it will kind of help you out as well for smashing into the finish gate again it's largely unsighted hitting that finish gate um but have faith it, as soon as you see it in your peripherals just do absolutely everything you can to go full send um, and those little micro adjustments just to kind of flick your way through if you're coming through it sideways you can kind of feel that you're on the right trajectory as you go through through that that drop um yeah a lot of tough sections in this track i'm surprised actually that oil bando didn't feature as a, particularly this track in uh, in last season's races because this one is a tough track um a minute seven my time on this so just within my uh, my 10 second kind of boundary for where i i want to be compared to the the faster guys shreds as per usual is beating me by uh two seconds Let's see if we can dethrone him. Absolutely, probably not. <laughs> They're already slow. Not too bad. Pre turns, pre turns. Full send? Nope. A little bit too high, unfortunately, coming through there, so we just clip the top. You can see we're already on the boxy sections of the train, so. <laughs> Whoa! Crazy. Right, one more go. I am not addicted at all. 
Ooh, how is that not a false start? Not complaining. A little bit slow. Ah, drifting to the left. Where even are we? Well, let's at least finish off this race. And I'll, I'll drop you guys into the spectato mode. To kind of pre-turn that. Again, slalom, flatten it out, get nice and tight to those. Up through here, over to the side. Keep it smooth and flowy if you can. Whoa! Lots of rolly maneuvers. Are we going to make it? Yes. Oh, and uh, we messed that bit up. <laughs> oh, man. it's You know what? I've, I've noticed it's kind of tough, like... On stream, it's kind of easy to eventually hit flow state. Um, albeit, like, you're, you're, I'm chatting with you guys and stuff, but I can kind of hit that flow state. When I'm doing these guides, I don't know, man. The pressure is super duper on. Because I'm doing these in, like, one take every time. <laughs> uh, uh, where are we going? Uh, over here. Of course. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Let's... Let's just forget that happened. Where are we? Personal best. Why are you on preset? Why are you on chase? FPV, please. Can we restart? Is it going to save everything? No. Personal best. Okay. So, yawing our way through there. Keeping it relatively tight. Oh, big correction through there. Three turns. Coming out of there. Nearly clipped those cars. First lap. Proper shaky. You can see, there's the cylindrical one, there's the boxy one. We know we're on for a relatively decent time. It's going to be around about the minute mark. A little bit of rubber bandiness through there. Big old rolls, big old rolls. Sideways, dip through, yaw your way out. Bit wide. Ended up being quite sideways through there. Nicer through there the second time. Free turn with a little bit of twitching. See, we drop through there rather than powering through. Pre-turning out of here. Narrowly avoiding the train. Again, that's a sign that we're on a, a, a decent lap. Uh, again, you come through here. The train's already gone through by that point. Little bit twitchy through there. Rolly, rolly, rolly. More rolls sideways. Dip through here and just bang full send. And that was a super lucky um, finish gate, actually. I think when I when I <laughs> when I hit that time, I was I was about ready to throw my controller because um, I thought I'd absolutely mess that up. But yeah, that's that very very difficult track. Um, but I can certainly see that we're going to be getting some tough tracks in team trials uh, for for spring uh, the spring season certainly for no other reason than the fact that you know the guys in DCL um, have to be practicing um they got to get competitive so you're going to see a lot of uh, the apex guys quad force one x blades um everyone's going to be in there raiden china dragons it's not it's not um it's not raiden anymore is it i can't remember the name everyone's going to be there <laughs> um but yeah it's it's going to be tough it's going to be a tough season uh, i think certainly probably the next two seasons actually spring and summer i can see being pretty uh, pretty hard going so it's gonna be a real test of uh, test of your flying abilities don't be disheartened just keep at it remember the grind is real uh, that's how dcl works <laughs> so yeah as always i hope that was helpful i appreciate it. i probably garbled on for a little bit um it's a long lap there's a lot to think about as you're going through um but yeah hopefully it was useful hopefully it was helpful um if you guys enjoyed, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual nonsense. ApexDroneRacing.com, uh, you can get your cool merchandise. Uh, I know we're working on some some other little bits and bobs, certainly for, for the community, for Alpha Prop, everything else. So stay tuned. We'll have news on, on maybe some more merch that you guys will be able to get your hands on. And um, yeah, again, if you want to take part in team trials uh, and you are in an Apex community, by all means, hit me up. Um, our community-led effort, Alpha Prop Racing, is uh, competing against the best. Um, I think we, we managed 11th actually last week. So uh, I don't know where we are. Let's have a look. Where are we? Profile. Team is 18th overall, which is not bad to say that we started halfway through last season. 
Um, so we're climbing the ranks. I think the aim is to be sort of round about 11th if we can. Um, if we can hit top 10, then hey, that's pretty darn cool. Um, so yeah, hit me up if you want to be part of the team. Um, as per usual, any comments, drop them below. Uh, if you've got any queries, whatever. I'm My DMs are always open. So I guess one thing left to say, and that is fly safe, fly fast, fly Apex. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you around.